Well, hello guys, welcome back to the season finale of The Road to 2.0. You'll probably just be like, Jordan, no, what are you talking about? This can't be the end of the, of the series. Well, thanks to you guys and your great feedback that you've given me, uh, I've decided to do a season two in which um, it's just gameplay that's been accumulated over this whole series of The Road to 2.0. Um, and it's just like stuff that I did not use. So I'll just use that to talk about random stuff, just just random commentaries. But I'll keep putting it in The Road to 2.0, even though I already, with this gameplay, attained the status of The Road to 2.0, 2.0 kitty that I was looking for. So definitely something awesome. Um, I end up going 42 and 8 here uh, in this drop zone match, which is something that I don't really usually play. And you'll be like, Jordan, you, you play other, anything other than Kill Confirmed? What? What are you talking about? That's not true. Well, proof right here. So, la, 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 in your face. Um, yeah. But I was chugging along with Maul and Rickster whenever we did this. And it was pretty cool. It was pretty fun. Um, I actually did not expect to do this well because I just, I usually never get do well in drop zone just because I'm the kind of person that, like, relies on perks for, like, ammo and such. Like, I don't really, can't really say that I really need it, I guess, because this, I guess, proves it that I can do a decent um, whenever I don't have it. But, hey, that's just me. It's maybe a little sign of the switching game type. Um, me and him made these kids look look bad kill-wise. There are people just camping out in the uh, the drop zone, and that's, that's like, what what ended up first, like, why they finished ahead of us. But whatever, it's, it's no, no biggie. Um, but... Because this is the season finale, I would like to just thank all of you for, for watching this. I know you guys don't ever have to take your time out of the day to watch my videos, but it it seriously means a lot to know that you guys care, you guys like my videos, to know that you guys actually want to watch my stuff. It, it blows my mind. Um, to know that I have a solid fan base like you guys, and to know that you guys are actually the greatest fans, and to know that... I can depend on you guys to, to not really, do, like, I can't, I'm not saying, like, I use you or anything, but, like, it's just, it just, it's cool to know that I have people that want to watch my stuff, regardless of what it is, so I'd like to thank all of you personally, um, and my friend actually said it the other day, he's just, and it made me realize that, like, I am pretty damn lucky, um, he, he goes, he goes, look at me, I can't even get a job or anything or something like that. And he's like, and then there's there's Jordan here making money off YouTube, going going big in hockey and music, and I, I can't even get a job. And he's like, holy shit, I actually have a lot of openings in life. And most of that would not be possible without you guys. Without you guys, the fans, um, supporting me and everything that I do, I don't think I'd be where I'm at right now. So I'd like to thank all of you. Personally, if that was possible, I would shake every one of your hands, give you a big bear hug, you know, you know the deal, the bro hug. Um, I would I would do all that in, in a matter of seconds just because you guys are so awesome. So I would really like to thank you guys for helping me uh, get to where I am now. And I'd really like just, if at all possible, to just give back to you guys more. Um, I'm hoping that I can do that with this recruitment ship that I'm under this how I'm now a recruiter for Vexon um, I now can can bring you guys into the spot like as directors um, now granted I can't do it to everybody because not everybody's content is worthy or anything but like it it it's an opening in which I can give back to my fans if I see they deserve it and like they I know they're gonna work hard and all that for for everything that the that it comes along with so I really hope that I can continue to get, give you guys more and more opportunities to get involved with me and also with the YouTube community itself because I'll be honest, the YouTube community is awesome. It's going into YouTube uh, like at first, whenever I first made my first channel back in 2008, I believe. I was just like, you know, I'll just do this just to, to watch videos, to have a few laughs or something, maybe upload a video here and there. Um, I never would have thought in a million years that this would be like a part-time job for me. And who knows, maybe like I'll look back on this like in a year or so, this video, and I'll be like, holy crap, it was only a part-time job, then maybe I'll have a full-time job as a YouTuber. That, that'd be awesome. Like, I don't think I could think of a more ideal situation for a 17-year-old. Um, 
at that point, probably eight. Yeah, at that point, eighteen. A year from now is <laughs> don't know basic math. Oh. But like that's it. Just blows my mind to to see that all these opportunities are are arising because you, the fan base, is helping me out. So I really appreciate it. I, it seriously is a just tremendous thank you to you guys um, because you've helped me get to all my accomplishments so far, and I hope that I, you can continue to push me in a more positive direction um, and then also I'll just give back in return to that you scratch my back I scratch yours it's I've, I've always gone that way um, with my fans always always will um, because like why why should I get the limelight whenever it's you guys really that are giving me the, the limelight like I don't, I don't let me just put it in perspective I don't really think that you got you guys are doing the real work I'm putting videos up you guys are watching it sharing it all that good stuff and then all I really have to do is just play and put up videos you guys are the ones that are doing all the work to get it known and all that so I very much appreciate it and like I really would like to get you guys known so I'm gonna think of something to do that I can that I can help you guys get known um, I don't know how I don't know how in the world I'm gonna do it but I'm gonna think of something because you guys deserve it you guys are the best fans so this video is basically just one gigantic thank you I just realized so I hope it's not getting too repetitive even though I know it is um, I'm just trying to trying to keep it to that that little that subject of a huge thank you to you guys um, this series is the season one is over and it's just like it's kinda humbling to see like you guys pushing me and encouraging me to get to KD of 2.0 it's just like yeah I have awesome fans but like it's kinda sad at the same time to know that like the the main goal of this whole series is now accomplished and it's just like what do I do now I mean I I really don't have any other other series for Call of Duty wise that I want to put up I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do really when it comes to Call of Duty and, and YouTube videos now after season 2 um, because after season two, it's probably gonna be like another ten episodes or something. But after season two, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna continue with the Road to 2.0. So this is gonna be like a two season thing, in which, I, it's just, it's really just uh, kind of joy right out of here, I guess. Um, I'm sorry, my attention got distracted. There's a uh, hockey game on in the background. Um, playoff hockey, so I mean, it's it's distracting. Um, but yeah, so. Just a tremendous thank you. I, I, it's, I know it's getting repetitive, but I'm sorry. It's kind of annoying. Um, but it seriously, it blows my mind to, to know that you guys are just as awesome as you are. So, thank you again. Um, I will show the official 2.0 ruling um, after, after the video is over. It's like a 15-second clip of me going into the barracks and just showing you 2.0. We did it. Um, and... It's it's kind of like a accomplishing thing. It's really humbling and like it like I said it's just like holy crap we're over we did this goal. And I think now the main thing is to keep that level of a 2.0. Um my my game style has changed tremendously since I started this series and I I cannot wait to like maybe even come out even more as a better player throughout my time on YouTube posting videos and such. It'll be fun to see like what what happens um, I'm actually really curious to know if I'm gonna maybe achieve a 2.5 or something like that in the sometime future I don't know um, it's it's crazy though cuz like I still have a I'm not to that point where I'm at like 50,000 kills or anything where like I can go like a negative hundred and only my KD by 0.01 but like it's it's oh my god it's awesome but yes so that is the end of the video Ricky goes 46 and 10, and I beat him out by 42 and 8 with the KD ratio for a game or er, for the game. So it's kind of cool. I like it. And yeah, that has been the end of se season one of the Road to 2.0. I hope you guys enjoy the season and take a look at the stats coming up right now. And we shall see that I'm at a 2.0. So comment, like, and subscribe, guys. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in all these episodes. I've been Equal Espresso. Peace.